you took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. Gotta get to higher ground. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. Paul. What the actual fuck? Better get inside before the chopper spots me. Still there? So, we don't know where he yeah, is. Yeah, just looking we for a viewpoint. Uh, we can't find him. So we need to look into a, you know, a, uh, a... Replacement. We still have no visual on Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. right now. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's going to be innocent people caught in the crossfire. All right. Any bright Thanks ideas? Thanks for patience, folks. I'll have you on your way again soon. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. Switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Okay. For those of you down just there. tuning in, the manhunt the fire continues pole. as authorities search for Jack Joyce, the suspect in last night's university terror attack. Joyce may those also have been involved in a firefight at the Monarch Mansion on Gull Island approximately 30 minutes ago. looking for a terrorist. Uh, have you seen anything out of the ordinary? Is that the guy who blew up the library? Um, uh, James Joyce? Jack Joyce, yeah. You see anything out of the ordinary? Well, I mean, there's a sports car parked in the streets back there. It's kind of wrecked. It's a little ordinary. <laughs> 
security personnel if you have anything to report. <sighs> Somebody sneaking around down there. Hey! I think that's Jack Joyce! Beth went out the window as soon as the stutter hit. Her boat couldn't get to you? No, but it gave me an opportunity to climb up on the bridge and cross it, slip right past Monarch, more or less undetected. I should get up on that bridge and make my way across it before the stutter ends. scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were, the heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Yeah. Super cool, man. This is
Okay, good. That's cool. Just gotta make it across the gate bridge and it'll be clear. This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. The crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. Heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken. Okay. In chaos. Frozen. Hold still. Come on, hold and no one would know. Okay. Come on, come on, come on.
pressure was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or... You can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. This was the guy delivering the speech at the gala. Name's Martin Hatch. According to Monarch Radio, he's been deemed a traitor. Sabotaged a Monarch lab. Potential ally? Not even close. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I... I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. Hello, Riverport. Well, it's been a rough night for us. The collision at the Port Donnelly Bridge that has claimed multiple lives is still being investigated. At least a dozen people are confirmed dead, and investigators say they expect to find more... Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. 
You think Will told her about it? No. Will was never the kind to open up. I can relate. Will takes it to the next level. When we were kids, the only way that Will could express anything important to me was by informing my stuffed giraffe when I was in the room. It's precious. And weird. Did she find anything? Jack, you've got sure. to see this. I'll go check. Hey, shouldn't you be keeping an eye on Amaral? Okay, but first, you need to check out the intel I uncovered. All right, what is all this? I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. I also found a video of your brother. It's on that TV. You're gonna want to see it. Everything else I printed out and put on tables over there. Was doing. What's on the computer? Monarch files I uploaded, and I kept the juiciest stuff on screen for you. Jesus, Will. William Joyce. 1999. After months First experiment. of arduous work, my machine is finally ready for human testing. Ready is defined by me, since ready is obviously a relative term when you're dealing with the deformation of the chronon field and recreating of black hole's mass density by you know, tangent. Okay, in short summary, I built a time machine, and it works. I'm gonna prove it, or die. Just need to make some final preparations. When I enter the machine, I will travel clockwise around the corridor. Okay. Core is active. Chronon levels are stable. Travel clockwise around the corridor, exiting back into the same location in the near future. Oh. This clock is set to my watch. Now, when I exit the machine, there should be a significant difference in time between my watch and the clock in this room. Corridor is locked in place. Okay, setting the date to five minutes to the future for the first test. Now, admittedly, traveling to the past would be much more impressive, but I can travel backwards in time only as far as the first activation of the machine's core, which is, well, now. Machine's ready. Monitor is stable. What I'm about to do is gonna change the very fabric of Hey, Amy, what am I looking at here? I've been recording Monarch communications with the radio that Beth left me. I made a compilation of anything that seemed like it might be useful. Months of arduous work, my machine is finally ready for human testing. Ready is defined by me, since ready is obviously a relative term when you're dealing with the deformation of the chronon field and recreating of black hole's mass density by tangent. Okay, in short summary, I'm gonna prove it or die. Okay. Just 
need to make some final preparations. When I enter the machine, I will travel clockwise around the corridor. Okay. Core is active. Chronon levels are stable. Travel clockwise around the corridor, exiting back into the same location in the near future. Anybody here we can trust? This clock. Fiona. Is set. She's my only watch. remaining contact on the now, inside. When I exit the machine, what about this Burke guy? He was under arrest in the same transport as me. And the clock in this room. Jury's still out on Burke. Or do I? It's locked in place. Okay. Setting the date to five minutes to the future for the, the first lifeboat. Test. Yeah. Well, according to Monarch Communications, Paul Serene just activated that thing. Only as far. Far sooner than they were supposed to. The machine's core, which is. What does that mean? Okay. Means we have less time than I hoped. Serene's original manifesto for Monarch. They had us practically memorize this. He actually believes he's doing the right thing. It's because he doesn't think the fracture can be stopped. And he's wrong. No use going there before talking to Dr. Amaral. How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. What happened to the power relay? The power surge occurred at 7 a.m. this morning when the machine was activated. 7 a.m. That's hours before we even got here. Well, the numbers don't lie. Okay, I guess I'm doing some climbing. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. I kept everything. Hmm. Guess you thought you might come back. <laughs> my artsy rebel phase. Complete with a very rebellious how-to guide. I always wanted to try this, actually. What's wrong? Toto. That's my signature. You made this? I've never even been here before. 
That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. It's her. She's the one who's been painting all over the city. <sighs> Jesus. Notebook was full of dates, events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. It's climbable. exactly the kind of question that never would have entered Will's mind while building this thing. Hey, I think I can get to the reset from here. are green.
ready. It's actually functioning. Okay. Okay, we're doing this. I'll set the data into the console. Is the city still hunting for me? In full force. There's an entire webpage dedicated to potential Jack Joy sightings. Who I've been filling it in with false leads for fun. Do you want to pitch in? Uh, post that I was spotted in the back of a catering van somewhere. You can do better than that. But okay, I'll let them know. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? No. This is it. There's no turning back. Hey, wait, wait! What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date? Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. What did you do? Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. I'm gonna follow through with the plan, tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. I will. You just take care of yourself, Jack. Okay? Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait, because I wasn't alone. What's going on here? Since when did Will run a graffiti workshop? None of this crap was here in 2016. <clears throat> hey, 
Bobby Radford coming at you on 4th of July. And what a fine day. Someone's in here. No turning back. Dr. Emerald sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one. William's machine to 1999. The first possible exit point. Don't shoot! Hey, hey, don't hey, shoot! Hey, don't hey, shoot! Hey, it's okay! Hey! It's okay! Ah. It's okay! I'm on your side. Who are you? I'm Beth Wilder. There's some things you need to know. You're the reason you built the countermeasure. And you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Why? Why didn't you come back? We should get ready. We don't have much time. She had changed. And there was a weight in her eyes. She was hiding something. She always was. I can't, I can't do this, this anymore. anymore. Oh, I, can't. I, can't. I can't. I can't. I can't fucking do this. Do this. What exactly do you believe changed in Beth? She lost hope.
11 years. Unlock the door. So where's Will? Where's the countermeasure? The countermeasure's at William's workshop. Where he built it. Then that's where we go. Uh, yes. That was the plan. have to unlock this. My supplies are upstairs. We'll need to get them. There's so much you don't know that you never saw. I... I gave up on the idea that she would ever come. It'll take It'll me take months, months to reconstruct the time machine here. here. It may not it may even not be possible. possible. It is, it is William. William. I've already, I've seen, already it seen it happen. happen. It's this way. I need to know we're still in this together. I told you once our fate is already laid out for us. I still believe that. More than ever. I'm just worried what that might mean. It means we finish this. You need gear? Take whatever you need. The rest of it's going in the river. Along with everything else I brought here. That's a little drastic. My time here is done, Jack. I have to erase my presence. Let me know when you're ready to go. You followed Paul to 1999. Why did he travel so far back? To form Monarch. Prepare for what's coming. You kept tabs on him. And he's kept tabs on me. Okay. The countermeasures at Will's workshop. We find it, then what? You bring it back here, use the machine, and return to the future. Use it to stop the fracture. That was always the plan. That is still the plan. Yes. I can't imagine what happened to you. When you entered that machine, I wanted to go after you, but I didn't know where Sophia sent you or how to find you. You made it here. It's all that matters. You followed the plan. Whatever happened to you, we'll change it. Don't. We can fix this. Don't. We can undo this. Oh, you still don't get it. <laughs> It can't be changed. No matter what we do, the pieces fall in all of the exact same places. I've tried. Over and over. I can't just sit back and do nothing. You have to let go. Jack. You have to let go. I've seen it. The end of time. That is where she sent me. I was there. 
I've been fighting this fight my entire life, and I saw us fail. I saw where this leads. I just don't know anymore. I don't know if we can win this thing. Die finding out. I don't know a fraction of the hell that Beth went through, what she experienced when she saw the end of time, how that changed her, like it changed Paul, followed by 11 years of living like a ghost. Beth I'd known had laser focus. This Beth, she had doubts. You okay? Yeah. But the countermeasure, the one thing that could set things right was waiting for us at Will's workshop. In 2010, Monarch didn't own the area yet. That came shortly after because of what happened with you. But we knew William was building something new in his workshop, and we knew it must be important. We were monitoring the place. Yeah, Beth knew about your presence. She'd done spying on her own. We came over the rooftops to avoid detection. <laughs> 